Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. On April 12th, Pixelmator released their latest update for the raw editing app for iPhones and iPads. It's a big update, but more on this in a moment. In case you didn't know, this raw editing app has a new name. Who are you? My name is Meta. Photo Meta. That's right. The app, which was formerly called Pixelmator Photo, is now called Photomator. It's a good move, I think. Many people would probably not know the difference between Pixelmator Pro and Pixelmator Photo. The most significant change in this new update is their new AI masking. If you follow this channel, you know local adjustments are one of the keys to a good edit. And the ability to create precise masks is a prerequisite to good local adjustments. For the longest time, only Lightroom Mobile could boast of a reliable masking system on mobile devices. Well, not anymore. Photomator has joined Lightroom in not only providing standard masking with a brush, but also AI-based masking in a super easy-to-use package. So let's run through all the new masking updates, starting with masking with a brush. With Photomator, you can now create masks the old-fashioned way by using a paintbrush on which adjustments will be applied. The brush supports changing the size, opacity, and softness. However, just like other mobile raw editing apps, the brush doesn't support edge detection. What's nice about the implementation in Photomator is the sheer number of adjustments that work with the masks. It's exactly like the desktop app. It supports standard tone adjustments, shadows, highlights, exposure, clarity, HSL, and more. The second update is Select Subject. Just like in their desktop version, Pixelmator Pro, Select Subject is an AI-powered object detection algorithm which will automatically locate and select the subject in a layer for you. This is a terrific time saver, especially when the subject has irregular edges, which are difficult to select manually. To illustrate this, let's use Select Subject on this image, which I hesitate to mask using a brush as the subject has very irregular edges. As you see in this example, select subject works great. It masks the ship precisely, no manual brushing needed. However, if you look closely, there are some selection errors in the AI mask. Thankfully, I can click add to a mask and use a brush to fix the mask. The third masking tool is select sky. Select Sky is another AI masking tool supported by Photomator. In this image, I want to reduce the brightness of the sky, but doing so, as you see here, will unnecessarily darken the background. Using the brush is also not ideal, as the lack of edge detection means you're likely to brush not just the sky, but also the rocks. Thankfully, Select Sky is available. With one click, I can select the sky and lower the brightness. If you inspect closely, the mask is extremely accurate, really great for avoiding halos. Another useful feature is Select Color Range. This is most useful when you have prominent colors in the image that can easily be identified by the AI. This implementation though was the most buggy of all the AI masking tools as the mask was not reflected properly when I was using it. And I believe that Pixelmator will release a fix soon. The final masking tool is the radial tool. This tool is more related to traditional masking tools that are useful to augment the AI tools, especially when the AI tools don't work properly. In typical Pixelmator style, it's very intuitive to use. And again, I would use this if the AI tools don't deliver as expected. They also have a gradient tool, which are also useful for skies, but I think it overlaps the select sky tool. So I'm not gonna discuss this. Just to show you how good this AI masking tools are, here's an example of me completely editing an image on an iPad with this new AI tools. What would take many minutes to achieve can now be done with just a few clicks and very little effort. It really makes a big difference in both the quality and the quantity of your editing. So what do I think about this update? If it isn't obvious by now, I think this update is excellent. The Pixelmator team has achieved what no other Lightroom competitor has done so far, implement AI masking in a mobile app. 
Not only is their implementation just as reliable as Lightroom's, it's just as fast. And its UI is also simpler. The controls are larger and it's much more effortless to use. But how about the other question? Is it worth it? Well, Photomator is supposed to cost 23 US dollars a year subscription. On my last check on the App Store, purchasing Lightroom Mobile costs less than purchasing Photomator by a lot. Yes, you heard it right. Photomator costs more than Lightroom Mobile. Note that pricing may vary from country to country. However, if that is the case in your country, that you can get Lightroom Mobile at the same price or even lower than Photomator, I think it is a no-brainer to go with Lightroom Mobile. That app supports significantly more tools than Photomator. That includes distortion correction, tone adjustments with better dynamic range, a haze adjustment, album creation, and many more. But this recommendation could change though, as Photomator for the Mac is supposed to be coming very soon, maybe next month. So as of now, since the price doesn't include the desktop app, I'll recommend Lightroom Mobile. But if this release is any indication, the future is very bright with Photomator. Well, that's all for the new Photomator 2.3. Do let me know in the comments what you think of Photomator if you have tried using it. Congratulations to the Pixelmator team for another game-changing update. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. And till the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.